Attacks on media workers continue across the globe, from targeted killings in Mexico and Pakistan to strict cybercrime laws in Angola and Thailand. The Committee to Protect Journalists' annual Attacks on the Press report, released Tuesday, documents the risks faced by reporters worldwide. The report notes that innovations in technology have allowed journalists to break through censorship and to access a wider audience, such as during the uprisings across the Arab world in 2011. But that it also brings persecution and danger to journalists. In Thailand, a criminal case that pits the government's increasing crackdown on the media with internet freedom wrapped up a key phase this month. Chiranak Prem Chaiporn, editor of the online news site Prachatai, faces years in prison after the government charged her with violating a Computer Crimes Act after criticisms of the monarchy were posted to the comments section of her news site. Prem Chaiporn was originally arrested in March 2009, and this month in Bangkok, the government finished presenting its case against her. At FSRN, we have been following her case during the past three years. For the latest, we go now to Bangkok. Chiranak Prem Chaiporn, first, give us an update on your trial and where it stands now. Right now, uh, I think at least the trial process is finished, and I have to. Prepare for the closing statement. Have one month. My lawyer will will do that for the closing statement. Submit to the court uh, within one month, and after that, I have to waiting for the verdict. Now, the key point in this case rests on the Computer Crimes Act and the Criminal Code Section 112. That's the part of the law that、um, authorizes charges being brought against somebody for. Comments deemed to be insulting to the monarchy. What did the witnesses? What did the testimony say with regards to to this law?、Um, we have one of the one of the、uh, website users, the readers from the website, and do be the volunteer to help to、uh, monitor and moderate the comments in the website. We also got the.、Uh, The the view, the perspective from academic, from the expert, to to tell the 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 in the court that、uh, in the international standard we have to have a kind of like a clear procedure about the notice and take down system before anyone being charged or liable with the content that they didn't make by themselves. Yeah. And Chira Nuk Pem Chai Porn, your website publishes news from Thailand, also international news. Why is it important for Thai society to have、uh, these voices available to the public to have this dialogue ongoing? I think it's like a, it's a way of the democracy develop, and it's a way that how the people can be engaged, not just only like、uh, the fake participate, but real engaged in their future. And they have the right to be discussed about the topic that matter to 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 their life or to my life. So I think this is a、uh, quite important. And in the society,、uh, the people should have a chance to learn about different view. Should not be under just only one kind of like、uh, the single content. <laughs> We should have a variety of the content to feed our wisdom to think. More to have more creativity, to have more idea how to develop and be part of the society in the development. Yeah. Do you think your case has affected that ability to have these different viewpoints, to have these different perspectives perspectives available to the public? I think it's, it's the internet platform that right now is kind of like a quite、uh, significant and. Been have more. It、uh, I think like the greater role, not just only in Thailand but in other parts of the world that is already show. But if like、uh, the thing that happened to me, if it can be like、uh, imply that can happen to anybody, any editor, any webmaster, it will be.、Uh, I think it automatically the self censorship will be. Practice more, even it's already a lot, but it can be more. Yeah, that it doesn't have to be a law. That that it could just be the threat of it that would impose self censorship on people. Yep. Yeah. 
So what are your next steps as you go forward to prepare your defense? I have to work out with the lawyer to prepare for the closing statement. Um, uh, and then uh, I continue my work and waiting for the verdict on the April 30th. And you have 30 days to present your defense? Yes. Chernik Premchaiporn is editor of Prachatai, and she joined us by phone from Bangkok. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much.